I'm very sorry I had to film this well eating because I have class in like yeah I'm not for hours yeah so yeah as you can see my sister my beautiful sister is not around because this video is not only for the sake of posting a YouTube video but this is also graded graded yeah, because I have a requirement in our class that um, to post a YouTube video. I think that my professor will read this, so. Yeah. For this video, I'm going to talk about what are the things to expect. Um, what are the things to expect in Canada as an international student? So, if you are from another country and you want to study here in Canada, this video is a warning. No, just kidding. Your life here is going to be exciting. It will be hard, but it's meaningful. The season. So Canada has winter, spring, summer, fall. <laughs> so be prepared for that. Four season. Well, I came here during the last days of spring and super thankful ako kasi hindi siya ganun kalamig. But during this fall, it is cold. So make sure to bring long sleeves, hoodies, jackets, winter jackets, of course or boots or whatever but i suggest that buy your winter jacket here in canada so that you so that you are sure that that jacket will withstand negative 20 or 30 temperature yep you don't have to buy a brand new jacket because it will be expensive like literally expensive it will cost you around 200 or plus dollars so it's okay if you you buy from the thrift from the thrift shop or ukay ukay in Philippines. Okay, so while I'm getting them up for my class, I'm going to discuss my number two expectation. Expect a diverse culture. And it's composed of different culture, race, language, and ethnicity. And the good thing is, Canada doesn't expect you to change what you believe in or your culture. Actually, we just celebrated last month, we just celebrated Diwali. It is an Indian feast. Yeah, basically, they celebrate once, they celebrate cultural differences and they have a mutual respect from each other. I have to respect different culture, race, and ethnicity. Actually, they have a law for it, specifically about the diversity or the cultural diversity. Be respectful to um, the different culture here in Canada. Be respectful to everyone. And don't be racist. So, in comparison in Philippines, hindi ganun ka traffic dito. Some of the places, they it has a traffic, but it's definitely to tolerable. Like, look at this comparison from the Philippines to Canada Road. Like, <sighs> so if you don't have a car and you want to go around the place, you can either ride LRT, bus, or if you are rich enough, you can book an Uber. <laughs> they strictly follow here the community system. Like for example, for this bus, they have a um, designated bus stop every route, and you can uh, view the you can view the schedules of the buses through online or through their applications. You don't have to turn on your survival mode here because the bus will stop if you are in the designated bus stop. 
Hi, so I just get home from my part-time job. That's why I'm going to talk about part-time jobs. Oh. You know, as a student, you have lots of expenses to pay. That's why you have to look for a job, a part-time job, to at least fund yourself. To be honest, it's not that easy to look for a job. For me, in my experience, I waited for like one and a half month to get a job. And I didn't just send via online, via Indeed or email. I also went to the establishments for like 30 establishments to drop off my physical resume. And I suggest that you do the latter one because it is because I got the job because of that. Um, if you guys have work or experience in Philippines or in other country, that may help. That may help you. But uh, I think the most important, I think the most important point that they want to see in you is that you are a good communicator. Um, that you have a communication skill for that specific job, and also your attitude towards the job and don't be too picky if you want to look for a part-time job as long as your job as long as that job is decent and legal apply for it you need the money so that will lead me to my number five cost of living there are places in canada that has a high cost of living such as Toronto, Toronto or Vancouver. Moving from Philippines to Canada is already expensive. That is why we need to work, earn money, and budget it according to what you need. You have to pay for your housing rental, mobile plan, groceries, or shopping. And um, if you're shopping, you have to look for the <laughs> price tag. So you have to look for the price tag because that's just a starting point. You still have to calculate the tax and then add it to the price in the tag. So just a tip, if you want to buy, um, if you want to go grocery, you go to Walmart because it's much cheaper there. And if you want to shop clothing, go to um, Value Village, Tally's, or any thrift shop. Thrift, thrift shop. Okay. Oh. And you have to take care of yourself, maintain your healthy lifestyle because um, healthcare can be expensive here. And although you have student insurance, if you get a um, major illness, you might spend more than your student insurance. You have to take care of yourself. Thank you. You too. I just got home from college and now I'm going to discuss day number six. You have to bring lots of sorry in your luggage because it is real. It is real that Canadian are polite like a maple syrup is sweet. And Filipinos are polite because we have words like po and opo. Um, as a way to respect elderly or authorities. Here, um, they often use words like thank you, sorry, um, kindly, please. Even though a person gave a smallest act of kindness to you, just say thank you. Just be grateful for it. Speaking about being grateful, here in Canada, it is, it is expected to you to give a tip to the service that was given to you. For example, you dine up, you dine into a restaurant or fast food chain. Um, should give a tip. I think the minimum tip that you have to give to the server is um, around fifteen percent of your total expense. Yeah, but it's difficult for me because I'm just a student and I'm very cheap. Dahil nasa labas yung roommate ko. 
Most of Canadian are environment and health conscious. It is rare for a Filipino household to practice proper waste segregation or proper waste management. But here in Canada, it is your responsibility to segregate it according to its category. Because if not, your garbage will not be um, accepted by those who pick up the garbage. In line of being environment conscious, they are also health conscious. They um, patronize organic food. They eat more veggies and fruits than meat. Restaurants here are innovating their food, their menus. They already have Beyond Meat in their in their menus. My last entry. <laughs> You are going to miss your family, your loved ones so bad that you cry yourself to sleep. So if you're feeling lonely and alone, just be strong. Um, call them if you want because we have all the technologies that we can use nowadays. So better use them. Also look for hobbies, read write, watch movie, work hard, um, pray, most important thing is to pray, ask for his guidance that you mo every step of the way.